Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do a really, really quick um, BB cream review slash wear test for you. Um, and that's just because I've been trying something new for the past two weeks and I'm really loving it, which is kind of a big deal <laughs> because um, I have very pale, very oily skin with enlarged pores. So finding base products that work with my skin and wear well throughout the day is like a really big, a really big deal. So I'm super excited about it and I wanted to share it with you. Um, just a little background, all throughout 2016 my skin, I was having a rough time so there was a lot of acne, um, a lot of like rough patches and redness and I just like couldn't get a handle on it. Um, but I'm really really happy because kind of throughout the last month or so, all through December and the beginning of January, my skin's been doing really well. I've seen a real transformation. I think it's because I've switched up my skincare. Um, I've been drinking a ton more water. That's one of my 2017 beauty resolutions. Um, and it's making a huge difference. So uh, I wanted to find a lighter product. I've been testing BB and CC creams just because now that I don't feel like I need uh, full or medium foundation coverage. I kind of want to start using base products that are actually benefiting my skin while they're sitting on there for eight hours a day. So um, I think I'll just jump right into it. I've already cleansed my skin. I'm wearing the Aven Mattifying Fluid Moisturizer and then just on my T-zone I'm wearing the Makeup Forever Step 1 um, Mattifying Primer. Uh, I know a lot of people don't use skincare under a BB or a CC cream, um, but I find that it might just be because I am so oily, I do need that, that first step of skincare. So that's what's been working for me, and I have been absolutely, absolutely, I can't talk today, loving the Marcel BB cream um, in light to medium. This is the matte version. I believe they have one that's not mattifying, but I obviously need this one. And um, I was drawn to this, I did a lot of research. I've tried some more high-end ones, I've tried the Sart, the Sart, the Tarte CC cream or BB cream, and I liked that, I just found that it didn't sit well on my skin or wear well over time. Um, and when I was doing my research, I found out that Marcel is actually one of the first brands who started to play around with BB creams. So they've had a lot of time to work on the formula and to perfect it. Um, and I think they've done a really, really good job. So, I normally just kind of shake it up a bit. And then I just take one pump and I put it right onto my middle finger. And I really just kind of massage it in. I don't really use the brush. I find that it doesn't get streaky. Um, and it just kind of blends right in. And then because it is just a smidge too dark for me, I take a little bit more and I make sure that I'm really blending it down my neck and kind of into the hairline a bit by my ears. I really like that even though this is a mattifying product, it doesn't dry too quickly when you're applying it. Um, you can work with it for quite a while, which I really, really like. So it's easy to make sure you've got it all blended in. And that's what just the first step looks like. Obviously it's a BB cream, so it's not full coverage at all. This is a very light coverage, um, but it does give kind of like a matte finish, which I really, 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 really like. So now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. Um, so I still love the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And I just kind of put a swipe of that all the way from the inner eye out. I put a little bit around my nose. And I actually use this to conceal my acne. I find that it's a really good color. And some of my acne scars right here. And 
and then I just blend that in. So normally I would just leave it here and then apply a powder. I think today, because I'm gonna go out, I kind of wanna highlight a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with my MAC Select Cover Up. This is in the shade NW15. So I just take that on my finger after it's warmed up on my hand a little bit. I only take like the smallest, smallest amount, like the tip of a pencil. A little goes a long way with this stuff. And I just kind of pat it out kind of in a V shape, like that, if you can see that, and then just work it out. Oop, got a hit. And then whatever is left on my hand, there's not much. I just put a little bit on my chin, a little bit into the middle of my forehead. So now, before I powder, I'm gonna go in with a setting spray. Right now, I'm using the NYX Mattifying Setting Spray. It's all right. I think I still really prefer the Urban Decay. Um, de slick or overnighter setting spray, um, but this is a really cheap alternative and it does work. Whew. So I'm just gonna let that sit for like five minutes and then I will be right back and we'll be powdering. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and just quickly powder um, and then I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup off screen. So I'm gonna go in with the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder in the shade 741A Translucent. I really like this loose powder. It's um, such a good bargain for the quality. It's really fine. Um, it really does work very well. And I find that no matter what base product I'm working with, um, it really helps to make it last a long time. So if you're looking for a budget foundation powder, or not foundation powder, setting powder from the drugstore, um, and if you're really pale and you're struggling to find one that doesn't darken your base shade. Um, this is a really good option. So I've just tapped some too much <laughs> into the lid here and I'm just going to first go over the areas that I put concealer with a small brush. And I do this just because I am oily and no matter what product I put on my face, it does crease pretty easily. So I kind of can never skip this step. So then I'm going to go over my whole face really lightly with a large fluffy powder brush. So that is that. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so this is the finished look. I think I was a little heavy handed with the blush, but YOLO, I love blush. Plus I'm pretty much just home by myself all day, so whatever. Um, but the star of the show is really the BB cream. Um, I love that I'm still matte. I've been wearing this for about half an hour now. Um, I had lunch <laughs> after I finished my makeup. And um, so yeah, it's about 11.30 a.m. right now. I'm gonna check back in at the three hour mark, the six hour mark, and I think the nine hour mark because I do have a really long work day ahead of me, so why not? Um, but yeah, right now, I love it. It's matte. It's skin-like. I love that I can still see my face through it. It's not a mask. Like, I can still see my beauty mark and, like, some freckles here and here and here. And I can still see some of the imperfections. Like, some of my acne scarring is showing through, but that's okay. I'm kind of learning to embrace my imperfections. That's another 2017 resolution <laughs> is to just, like, be okay with myself. Um, but yeah, I'm loving it and I will tune back in and show you how it wears throughout the day. See you later. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to quickly do a close-up and direct 
natural lighting. So I'm right in front of my window right now. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Excuse my chapped and flaky lips. <laughs> I'm doing my best. But yeah, so this is what my skin looks like. How close can I get? And um, yeah, so I have worse acne scars on the side of my face. You can definitely still see them, but I'm okay with it. And excuse my eyebrows as well. I'm letting them grow out because I want to reshape them. So I'm going to regrow them for like the next six or eight months. So it's going to get a little messy. I'm just kind of tweezing the essential areas. And um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how long I last. Anyways, I digress. The point of this is the BB cream. And this is what it looks like right after application pretty much. We're at about 45 minutes to an hour now. Hey guys, I thought I would tune back in. So we are now at the six and a half hour mark and I wanted to show you what it looks like. I haven't blotted um, at all. I haven't repowdered. Really I haven't really done anything. Um, and I have been really careful not to actually touch my face today. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is my final check-in. It's about 8 p.m. and the lighting is really shitty, but there's no natural light at this point. So I'm just gonna try and show you the best I can in this lighting. So I blotted this about an hour ago and um, didn't apply any powder, just like went in with a blotting sheet. And already you can kind of see like that I'm getting very shiny again, especially in my T-zone in the center of my cheeks and on my forehead. That's pretty normal for me. And considering I put this on, at 11 and it's now like a little after 8 p.m. Um, I'm pretty freaking impressed with this product. So yeah, that's that. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about the Marcel BB Cream, um, the matte version, definitely let me know in the comments below. And I think I'm gonna start doing this um, kind of like demo and then review and then wear test kind of video format. Um, for some of the other drugstore foundations that I'm interested in trying. Um, I really want to try some of the, the really bargain buys and see if they're at all good. So there's one from Wet n Wild that I want to do, an Essence um, BB cream or a foundation, I forget what it is. And yeah, so on and so forth. So please give this a big thumbs up if you liked it and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!